Hi guys, today I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, how long polish is good for and what to do if you have polish that gets old and thick. Uh, lately there have been a couple articles that kind of suggested that nail polish is only good for a year and that if it separates or starts getting thick and hard to apply that you should throw it out. And I just, I can't agree with that. I have some bottles of nail polish that are almost 20 years old, and, you know, there are ways to fix uh, thickness if that's the problem. And if it separates, I mean, I've seen bottles in the store that have already started to separate, so all you have to do is shake it. Um, I went through my stash, and I pulled out a couple of examples. Um... Here's one that's separating pretty well. You can see uh, the color on the bottom and kind of a clear liquid at the top. And all you have to do is shake it. And it will mix back together. And the trick with that is just don't immediately paint your nails when you're done shaking it. Uh, give it a minute for the bubbles to settle out of it. But... I mean, it doesn't take that much to mix the polish back together. Um, here's another example, a dark color. And again, all you need to do is shake it. Don't be afraid to shake your polish. Just don't shake it if you are going to paint your nails in the next five minutes. And I think the camera's probably shaking a little bit as I'm shaking this. But you see there, it's perfectly well blended again. Uh, as for polish getting thick... <coughs> Excuse me, I pulled out one of my oldest bottles. Um, this is an original Urban Decay polish, and I think you guys can probably see in there that it's not moving at all. Um, if I open it up, you can see that gummy mess on the end. Um, but I have polish thinner. I actually have two bottles right now because... This bottle's just about empty. I have just a bit left. And so this is my new bottle. Uh, it's the same brand. They just uh, changed the design in between when I bought them. And basically all you need to do, and this is an extreme case, is to drip some polish thinner in there. Generally, if the polish is just a little thick, I would say to start out with literally just a drop or two of thinner. But since this one is nearly solid, I'm starting out with more. And again, I apologize if the camera's shaking, but when it's this thick, you have to shake it pretty well. It does help if there are uh, balls inside of the bottle. Once you've shaken it and combined it, see how it is. Um, not sure if you guys can see there, but where it was sticking to the brush before, now it's dripping right off. Um, still a little thicker than I would prefer if I was actually going to use it on my nails, but I mean, you can see it's, it's coating the inside of the bottle now. It's not all stuck at the bottom. And this polish is literally almost 20 years old. I think I got this when I was about 12. And if I wanted to wear it, I would. Um, is it going to wear as well as a brand new polish? I'll admit, probably not. Um, but if you have a good base coat and a good top coat, which of course are going to be new because those are the products that you use uh, on a regular basis and have to replace, you know... It, it'll be perfectly fine, especially in my case. I rarely wear polish more than a few days. So, you know, I just kind of wanted to dispel that myth. I hope people aren't out there chucking their whole nail polish collection because some article said it's not good after a year because that's just bull. I, I don't know any other way to put it. Um, on my nails, I'm currently wearing uh, Wet n' Wild Grey's Anatomy. And... I did uh, do a video of this because it's a really impressive duochrome. Uh, that probably won't be up until tomorrow or maybe the next day. Uh, but once it's up, I'll include a link in the information box for that. Um, I think that's about it. I know it's been a while since I did a tutorial, but um, I just haven't had the time to actually experiment and see if the colors that I want to use 
actually will work for a water marble. So I'm leaning toward uh, doing another Addicted to Color pretty soon. I've got, um, you know, I may do the orange. These are two of the oranges that I want to use. Or I may do the yellow. These are two of the yellows I want to use. But even with those couple picked out, I need to find three more of each color and then experiment. And if the colors fail, find more colors. So if you have a preference, which I do next, orange or yellow, uh, go ahead, leave a comment. And, you know, I'm not promising, you know, I don't want to promise you guys that I'll always do what you say because obviously I have a mind of my own, but I do take it into consideration and if one is overwhelmingly more in demand than the other, uh, like I said, I'll certainly take that into consideration. So I think that really is it now. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this. hope you bring your polish back to life if it's old and thick. Um, one thing I didn't mention, I get this at Sally's. I think the Beauty Secrets brand is maybe their kind of house brand. I'm not sure where else you could get it, but I would say most beauty supply stores probably would have it. Um, you know, or be able to direct you somewhere you can get it. Do not use polish remover to thin your polish, please. Um, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, very proud of myself. I did it in one take. And, uh, as always, thanks for watching.